guys, welcome back. Been about a week since my last video and I've uh, done some rearrangement of the outside as you can see. We've got some uh, pumpkins and melons growing out there and uh, moved the uh, multi farm down a bit so it looks a little bit nicer out there. Uh, I also made a staff relaxation lounge in my, uh, in my base. Um, I will be putting chairs and stuff down. But I think this looks quite nice as it is. And the main project for today storage well storage from my sorting mechanism um, I know everything's gonna go in here but how to move stuff about that's the thing right first job on make some pneumatic tubes now for pneumatic tubes I need brass brass made from uh, copper and tin I believe Uh, in the um, alloy furnace, I'm definitely going to need more than that. So, uh, mm -hmm. let's grab some of those. Pop them back, actually. Grab some of it. Ah, and I can't burn these, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I was hoping to be able to use them. So, yeah, that's another thing I want to put these uh, apple oaks, uh, the saplings that I'm producing, because I'm getting a lot of saplings from my uh, farm, into a uh, fermenter, so I can then turn it into biogas to produce more fuel. Give me brass, I'm going to get brown. there we go, awesome. So with the brass, I can make pneumatic tubes. Uh, it's just done like ordinary piping. You. Uh, do this here and pop this in there and bam, pneumatic tubes. Quite a lot of for your buck, but look at it, that's awesome. Right, I also want, I have to know I've got a powered furnace and a pulverizer in here. Oh no, no pulverizer. Quick, make a pulverizer. Uh, I've got a piston on standby. Always have pistons on standby nowadays. Turns out, you know, I need a lot of them. Almost every machine seems to have it as its base. Uh, and I've got the wood on me. Uh, and flint, I believe. Not bad for off the top of my head. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, nice little trick with this. Remind me of that one. Ah. I need a machine frame and a redstone. What's it? So I do believe it's two of those. I'm gonna need two bits of gold for the machine and the uh, for the yeah uh, machine frame and the redstone connecting piece. Right, let's make that one first. Next one is like this. Yeah. So it's and then that that. Piston on top. These ah, was it wooden gears? No, it's copper ingots, which I'm not carrying on me. As you can see, as well prepared as always. Um, that one there. That one there and there. That one and that one. Sweet. Right. Now what I'm going to do is have it set up in a similar fashion to this. Um, obviously this is, uh, if you remember, the, the chest I'm going to be putting everything in and underneath is my sorting machine. So if we go down to the sorting machine, um, I'll show you what I did with it. Uh, this is a nice little area here, quite quite enjoy what I did with this. Right, first things first, put some pipes down and in. Okay, now on the right click here, you'll see that I've already laid out the things that I immediately want to sort out. Um, this is by no means the full list. As I say, I'm going to need another sorting machine to deal with this one here. This little orange tab wah, is what happens to items that are not on this list. So all these ones on this list will get these colours underneath them. Um, now, how do you tell it which way to go? Well, that involves paint, and paint involves flax, and I've got a lot of flax. And I'll get on with that in a second. So, pulverizer first, then a furnace. We'll run power into the back. Why doesn't that connect up? Because it 
is an output that's uh, changed the configuration to an input. Get those bits back. Ta da! Sweet. Now, white. Which means I'm going to need bone. Now. What I'm doing now, if I just call up my, uh, my thing, is I want to make a paint can. I want to make white paint. Now, this involves flax seeds, and luckily I've not found a use for flax seeds like eating wise yet, so I've got a lot kicking about. Uh, piece of the colour you want, and paint cans. Now, paint cans are made out of tin plate. Tin plate, uh, tin and iron in the alloy furnace. Sweet tin and iron. Back up to the metals box. See, this is why I'm starting to move everything downstairs because I'm going to have a, uh, a workshop down there, um, where which is where I'll want all the stuff, obviously. Um, tin should still be in there. I hope it's not eating through it all. That's good, right? Tin and iron. It was tin plate, right? Let's uh, whilst I'm waiting for that drop these bits off, pick up these bits of wood so that it turned out I didn't need. I thought I was going to need uh, some cogs for the uh, pulverizer, but no, I was mistaken. And there we go, right, sweet. So, first off we need our paint can. Paint cans are done like that. Oh, you get three of them. That is sweet. Flex seeds and colours. Now, I do believe all my iron, all my bones are outside. Luckily, it's daytime. Like these sidecraft puffs, they're great. They look lovely, but they don't emit any actual light. They look like they do, but they really don't. Um, it's a little bit terrifying at night. Uh, right. So just do the white for now. Uh, first things first, bit of bone meal. Tin can. Like that. Sweet. Now we wanted a paintbrush next, which is stick and wool. That's easy enough. Should have lots of wool in here. Stick and wool. Now the great thing about this is it's like ridiculously um, multi-use. So, like, so this one has a has a damage bar, uh, and look, that barely touched it. And then when I run downstairs and finally tell my sorting machine where to send a piece of my items by doing that. You see how it's taken on the colour? That's amazing. So now my sorting machine, when it gets something in there that should go to white, it goes, ah, oh, where's the closest bit of white? And there it is. Well, it doesn't do that. It actually goes, where's the nearest bit that I'm allowed to go to? Um, which is a, a subtle difference, but an important one when you're uh, trying to sort out all your stuff. Now, this one needs to be an orange output because I want it to, want it to send all the stuff straight down. This one needs to have an input on the top, and I'm also going to say an orange output on the bottom. Ooh, there we go. And that will also send its stuff straight down. Uh, as always, what power system do we give it? I am making a lot of biofuel, so I might make it that. But either way, I'm going to have to uh, send a pneumatic tube down and under here. Like so. And hopefully intersect my... I should have gone down one more. There we go. Right, to make it pretty. There we go, like that. And like that. to the items that come out? Do they have a colour? Oh, 
why isn't that connecting? Why isn't that connecting? Uh, I'm going to need a filter or a relay or something in between. It can deliver but not take, hey? Mmm. <laughs> right, confusing. Right, here comes my first major cut of the uh, the episode. I'm going to go uh, find out what I can do about this particular issue right here. Right, so I was just searching through all the different things you can do with pumpkins, because, you know, it's always nice to know what you can do with pumpkins. And I found this little beauty. So if I press U on here, uh, was it on that one or that one? No, it was in Shaped. Uh, shaped Crafting over here. What's this? I, 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 I need to know. I'm going to make it, and then if I can't figure out what it does, I'll go and find out what it does. But, whoa, what is it? <laughs> hey, these here, these here. I can't remember whether you need four or nine to make a melon, but that's enough. Um, I've got this on me. Pop these in here. There we go. Oh, and I've even got three sticks on me. Perfect. Right there, that, that. Dun, dun, dun. Scarecrow. Um, right, does this just go on the floor? It does. It. Wow, look at it. Does, it. does it look at me? Does it? Does it spin? It's. What? 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 What's going on here? Yeah, I push it. Whoa. I'm gonna move you. Oh. Oh, it's alive! The hell? That's how, how do I... Oh. Alright, I'm going to push you about. Um. Oh, well, I did want to put him up on the... <laughs> He's in the war. Uh, I did want to put him up on the pedestal. Um, looks like I'm going to have to make another one now. Um, but yeah, Scarecrow. I wonder if this guy is actually a prince that a witch has cast a spell upon. Nah, who knows. Bye! Okay, so after much hoo-ha, mucking about, checking things out, and building machines that I didn't want, I've finally decided with the filter. Um, it's good if you don't put anything in there, it should just pull straight through. Um, I want to assign the uh, processed or uh, processed metals. Uh, I'm going to go with grey because I had lots of whoa, because I had lots of uh, black and white pigment. Um, no, is that black or grey? Uh, it's black at the end of the colour scheme, so... Oh, good. Oh, they're in colour order. Alright, okay, so there's grey. Sweet. And we'll go and paint the grey on the back of here, if possible. No, we're going to have to run round. Oh, running. Press the button. I'm not... Why did I not put pressure plates? I think the, the, the red wiring was getting a bit tangled underneath that floor, and I want to keep it relatively streamlined back there. Right, so there's grey. Hence why I've got the button there, because this, this wall covers all sins. It's amazing. Okay, so power. Power is obviously going to go in the back. Now up there, I've got some P engines that aren't really doing anything. And they're, <coughs> excuse me, and they're uh, pumping power through. Like there's some power held, oh. There's some power held there. And all that's doing... So I say, ooh, because I've had a lot of pipes blow up on me. I'm really going to have to get down doing some redstone conduit. Con conduit. Oh, speaking is a chore today. So, has this finished cooking all my stuff? No, I didn't think so. Ah, forcium. I see what's happened here. That is something that I really cannot let happen in my automatic systems underneath. Um, as it was, I know that it was just because I put it there. Mm. Yes, anyway. So, I was going to move these down and power underneath. What I eventually intend to do is have a massive sort of power generation unit, probably close to my multi farms, because, you know, that's my, my uh, fuel source at the moment. Um, <laughs> in fact, right at this present moment in time, my fuel source is pumpkins and melons because you get the highest number of seeds off of them. Skellington, have it. Oh, oh well, 
world that's just incredibly useful I'm starting to eat through my minion stones at quite a rate um, like this isn't the old one I've, I've had a new one and eaten through down all the way to this level in this thin amount of time um, yeah uh, just amazing how quickly I'm getting through it now um, it's mainly because I'm turning my cobbles and uh, my cobble and dirt and stuff like that into uh, iron and and gems useful things okay it seems we've got a little sidetracked with explaining what's going on with my power generation <laughs> I'm now going to wander back inside and continue with my sorting machine um, power pipes this is what I need i got some uh, golden conductive pipes why, why does it lag me out so much coming through here let's just uh, take it a little slowly I have to find out why because most of the time I'm running around fine and now it's suddenly dropped down to under 20 frames a second and that, that's not good I'm going to try and streamline my system for a bit. Okay, that should hopefully be a whole lot better. Um, I've not decided what I'm going to do for the power system back here. Uh, I'm, what I'm probably going to do is take coal out of that chest and have a sterling engine back here running when these two need it. Um, I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do that, but that's my thought. But what I actually want to do right now is concentrate on this red line. Now, because there's just five items here that I care about from the mob drops, I think I might do them with barrels. So, first thing I need to do is get some red paint. Then I need to make five barrels. And then I need to sort the system out. So, red paint and barrels. Why didn't I do this upstairs? Running. Right, I know I've got a whole load of tin plate in here. And only seven. Let's make a quick tin. Um, by the power of my minmon stone, I'm going to turn this bone mill into some red dye. Oh, maybe not. I thought that did that. Oh, well, let's go get a, uh, a rose. There's a flower. I, I had one in a chest that I was just looking in, but didn't grab it. No, oh, well. There's a red one. And to uh, ah, so much for renewable resource. <laughs> uh, I'll do some more later. Get some more reds. All right, running, 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 running. I also want flax seeds, which are in the shop, and the paint can. I'm also going to need another bit of wool to make my. Oh, I just so on the ball again today. I don't know why it is that I'm so always so sharp when it comes to recording. It must just be a gift of mine. It must just be a gift. Right, so you can get a bit of wool, make another paintbrush, get some red paint on my paintbrush, and put a dot on the end of the pipe that I wanted to go to. That in there, that in there. Right, that's that bit done. Right, I also want in here barrels. I believe they're relatively easy to make. Logs in the slab. Funnily enough, I have a lot of logs. Uh, let's get a stack. And some slabs. Sweet. Right, I only want five of those. And we spread these out. That's good enough for me. stuff back before I fill my inventory fully up again. Oh dear. <laughs> One of my chests are already full. Hey, Riley back downstairs. In fact, I should grab one of the items that I want. Um, now, the things I care about are Minmin. Pearls. Uh, and do I have any arrows on me? Ah, oh, the one thing I'm missing. 
Well, I'll do deal with that later. Back down to my storage room. I need to make a fast up and down. Possibly some sort of jump splash pool or something. Now I reckon if I take this out here. Pop these down here and these two here. actually do that. Oh, I'll take this top line off then. Oh, oh, oh. Why are we lagging again? Something happens. I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Right, I've got some stone, fill in my workings. Now, one of those. One of those, one of those, one of those, and the red paintbrush. And the red paintbrush goes on. Why did I not connect it? Goes on that line. That should connect it all across. And that red says only the stuff from that particular line on the sorting machine. And I put one of those in there, one of those in there, one of those in there. And those in there, and now I have a self sorting mechanism. The the uh, arrows should automatically go in there. Now, these barrels are amazing, they can hold uh, 64 stacks of 64. Um, I'm not going to do the maths quickly, I should probably read it down. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a whole ton of items. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit of tidying, put out some more chests, and I'll get back to you. So, hey guys, uh, I finished my room. It's looking good. I, I, I really, really, really like this. Um, I think I've done a, a, an awesome job with uh, just everything, really. I mean, look at the floor. I actually, don't look at the floor. The floor is the one bit that I'm not overly impressed with. Um, as you can see, my sorting system does its job. Uh, it is beautiful. It really is. I, I, I really like the way that I've got all the items working through the wall. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to wrap up the episode there. Um, next episode, going to be dealing with a door. I need some sort of security system, as this is where all my... Oh, look at that. That is lovely. This is where all my stuff belongs. So, I need a, a nice security system there. Um, I'm also going to finally deal with the output from my farm and uh, have some sort of power system going. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to have the generator in here somewhere. Hmm, yes. Anyway... Thanks very much for watching, guys, um, and I'll get back to you next week. Bye-bye.